Good evening again for round two. Semifinal NCAA semifinals are done. Actually, the second game is finished. And then had Yukon, the Yukon Huskies, eighty-six, Alabama seventy-two. Sorry to anybody cheering for Alabama, and I'll be sorry for anybody cheering for NC State, because Purdue beat them earlier today, sixty-three to fifty. So it'll be Yukon versus Purdue on Monday night, April the eighth. Yeah, and they're both one seeds too. So there you go. There you go. So that's done. Two games in the women's hockey today as well. And the key one was the uh, U.S. winning 5-3 to three over Finland. Uh, that was like a pretty darn good game. And they're 3-0, three, three, they're three and oh, by the way. Canada plays the Czechs tomorrow. And the other game I had, Germany 4-1 to one over Japan. So they're setting themselves up nicely for the quarterfinals. Now, we're going to talk about curling now. Canada is the only nation that has ever won both the women's and the men's World Curling Championships in the same year. And it's happened 12 times. <coughs> the most recent one was 2017. That had Rachel Holman winning the women's and Brad Gushu winning the men's. Could it be possible that it happens again this year? Stay tuned tomorrow. That we could have something brewing here. Uh, and speaking of Brad Gushu, him and Nicky Nicky Din, Nicky Din, Nick Eden of Sweden will be playing for the fourth time in, at the for for gold. Twenty seventeen, Brad Gushu won. Twenty eighteen, Nicky Din. Nick Eden won. And 2022, Eden also won. So, you should be looking to even it. So, anyways. Interesting story how I ended up planning this weekend for the <coughs> 1976 Olymp Olympic Ice Hockey Tournament and the 76 playoffs. Like, originally I was going to start the 76. NHL playoffs today, but like looking at it again, I've been I would have had game one tonight, I would have got game two Monday and game three Tuesday. It's like yeah. Plus, uh, I was gonna have uh, start the seventy six ice hockey tournament at the Olympics t um, yesterday and uh, play another three games, the other three games tonight. Well, I kept that schedule three yesterday, three today, and I would have. Had seven games tonight with the, if I started the 76 NHL playoffs and decided I'm going to start the 76 playoffs yesterday which I did I have game two tomorrow and then game three Monday because so, I'm off Monday and <coughs> you know, I still have my three Ice Hockey Olympic Games on Monday and I'm going to end up finishing the preliminary round of the 76 postseason Monday. Likely. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. So, I've got game two. I was just going to have game two tomorrow. So, I had the Olympic, just the Olympic Games today and and I looked at the schedule for those that 76 tournament, and I did have the qualifying games the first two days, and they had the next third day off, so. Which that made that easy, so it was like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, and I was like, oh, I should probably have game one of the NHL playoffs, 76 NHL playoffs, Friday, and then have game two on Sunday. <coughs> that way I'm not overdoing myself on Saturday. Like I usually tend to do. So there we go. There you go. So that's, that's pretty much this video. I was actually waiting for the 
semi second semi final to finish so I can actually make this video. So and they're done. And the championship game is Monday. And now I'm gonna stick a fork in this and call it done. So in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.